We are two weeks away, two weeks away from the winner being announced of the Shrouded Fable Master Set. That's right, we are giving away an entire Master Set of Shrouded Fable, uh, every card, on August 23rd? August 23rd, which is two weeks from today. Look at this thing. It took almost a thousand packs uh, for us to put this together. But if you're new to the channel, every new set release, uh, we give away a Master Set to one lucky subscriber. Uh, so if you want to win, here's what you have to do. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, so, so scroll down, hit that subscribe button, uh, and then you want to head over to this video. I'll put the thumbnail right up here. Head over to this video right here, uh, and then click that video. Leave a like and a comment on that video. That's where we're going to pull the winner from. So hit that subscribe button, and then leave a like and a comment on that video. And boom, you're entered. Come back in two weeks to see if you're the winner. We're doing August 23rd because that's the release of the Elite Trainer Box. Uh, so that way we'll get the Elite Trainer Box promo in there. Uh, so it's basically a full true master set for Shrouded Fable. Uh, also, uh, we're not, we can't do it next week. We won't have any videos next week. We'll have one more on Sunday, and then we'll, we will might do a couple lives next week. Uh, but we have the Pokemon World Championships. I'm super stoked to be heading down to Honolulu. Uh, hopefully I can record some, some good content. I am... Uh, super humbled, super gracious. Like this is a dream. It's a dream come true. Like no, no joke. I've never been to Worlds before. I am so stoked to be able to go there and hopefully record uh, some good content. So that way you guys can get a feel for what it's like. And hopefully the last day when they announce where it is, we can have the, a big party uh, next year at Worlds. I'm really excited. But we're going to talk about Shrouded Fable. I don't know what Worlds impact it's going to have. I know Reggie Drago V Star gets better uh, with Shrouded Fable. Obviously, Fezendipity is uh, okay. Uh, but this will be the first, like, big tournament where Shroud of Fable is legal. Shroud of Fable came back a week ago. Let me know in the comment section down below what you, what your thoughts are. Actually, I do have a, a question for you that you can comment. A little guessing game, if you may. Uh, uh, there are two cards. Two cards from Shroud of Fable. So every set release we do this. Uh, we go in uh, Friday morning. So anybody can post on TCG Player Friday morning of a set release. Before that, uh, when you kind of have like the market price get a little bit weird, that's when stores can go in. They can put up uh, Shrouded Fable singles for pre-order. If they're an authorized pre-order store, meaning that they have pre-releases, they're, they're approved by TCG Player to sell singles early. Uh, after that, once Friday morning hits, it's, it's open game. Everybody can post singles on TCG Player. So what I like to do is I like to take screenshots of how the market looks uh, Friday morning as soon as the, the new singles, all the singles get posted from anybody uh, and just get a feel for what drops look like. I know Fanny, hey, everything drops. Everything drops. I get it. Uh, opening week, this is different. This is, these are some big drops and it's very interesting to me. So the guessing game, Fanny, get with it. Uh, yeah, there are two cards from Shot of Fable that have actually gone up in value. Everything else is uh, getting destroyed. It's bleeding. It's terrible uh, for a lot of these cards. Not doing as well. Initially, I thought Shot of Fable singles would do okay because we have this, uh, but I've changed my mind. Uh, they have this, uh, there's not as much product out there, right? Like you have the King Gambit, uh, you have the Mini Tins, you have uh, the the Greninja and Kingdra collection boxes, uh, and then you have the three pack. Blizz I guess that's a fair amount of product, but no Elite Trainer boxes. Those got delayed to the twenty third. So I thought, okay, well, there's not going to be as much product being open. But I think people went ham on the Greninja and Kingdra boxes because they wanted those promos. Those promos are so top shelf. They're so slapping. People wanted those promos, so they cracked uh, a lot more shot of table than maybe what I anticipated. Or uh, even though I like the set, I do think it's a cool set. I do like the artwork. A lot of people. People don't, and maybe they're just waiting for Stellar Crown uh, or some future sets. Stellar Crown comes out in a few weeks. Obviously, we're only what we're only like three weeks away from pre-releases starting for uh, Stellar Crown, and then we had to give away another master set uh, to one lucky subscriber for uh, Stellar Crown. But another smaller set. Uh, but this this is not this is not going well. We're gonna look at the price drop. So two cards uh, that that have increased in price. At least that what we're covering. So basically, the ultra rares. Uh, there are two cards that started out lower. Uh, than what they are now. So we're going to jump into those right uh, right now. Here we go. We're going to flip you guys around so you can see exactly what I'm rambling about. Uh, starting off with the most expensive card, which is the, the Cassiopeia. Uh, this is the special illustration where they said, this is probably the chase card for a lot of people. Very cool looking penny. Uh, it's got the Sylveon in the background. It started out very high at one point in time, a few days before release. It was over $200. What I want to know is who's buying these cards that is establishing this market price. The market price doesn't get established until people actually start buying the card. So people were actually buying in Cassiopeia for over $200 prior to release date, which is absolutely maddening to me. The only SIR right now that's even close to the $200 mark is the Greninja EX from Twilight Masquerade, and even 
NAC started below $100 when Twilight Masquerade originally came out, or right around $100. The Cassiopeia started out over $200 on release day. It was all the way down to $162.66 already. And now we have officially hit a point where there is no card in Shrouded Fable that has a market price over $100. Even with Tough Pull Rate, pull it's very similar to what we saw from Twilight Masquerade. I covered that last Friday. So you only you need like two booster boxes in order to pull uh, one special illustration where you need like four booster boxes. Uh, there's no booster boxes in Shroud of Fable, but sample size, uh, for sample size sake, uh, like four booster boxes to pull a hyper rare. Absolutely insane to me. $162 on opening day. It's dropped down to $99.45. That's an almost a 39% drop. That's not that bad. That's usually pretty average uh, for a new set release. And like I said, I thought it would. I thought these drops would be less uh, because of Worlds, first of all. Also, because of the lack of an Elite Trainer box. Uh, but we're going to see some cards that have dropped in the 60s and the 70s. Very, very large drops from some of these cards. The Pheasant Dippity, this one's actually doing pretty well. Again, this is the one that's probably the most playable in the set. Uh, Pheasant Dippity has a very strong ability. Uh, because of that, the SIR has not dropped too far. It started out uh, just above $100 on opening day, $104.95. It did drop down to $74.41, uh, so still about $75, only about a 29% drop, so not too bad, a little bit lower than some of these other cards that we're looking at. The Okie Doge EX Special Illustration Runner, this one started right around $100 as well uh, at $95. Again, who is buying, <laughs> who's establishing these market prices? It's crazy to me. Uh, $36.91 is where we are at a week later, so I pulled these prices last night so six days technically after release of the set uh once these elite trainer boxes get cracked uh it's going to be absolutely insane you might see you might see okie dogie down to 15 20 dollars maybe even lower than that you might see some scarlet and violet era sir scarlet and violet base sirs as far as price point goes uh or palde evolved uh as far as price point goes with like the, that grusha and, and some of the other cards from the skeletors the mio scarada uh you might see that with a lot of these sirs really good for collectors people who want to collect the master set it's going to be really cheap uh once the booster bundle comes out and the elite trainer box comes out because there's a lot more packs that are going to be cracked uh 61 is the drop on that one which is very very large the earthen vessel continues to do well uh this one dropped only single digits so 3.4 percent from 55 dollars and 83 cents down to 53 dollars and 93 cents main reason super playable no different than like the buddy buddy poffin now the buddy buddy poffin from twilight masquerade has dropped quite a bit it's like mid 30s right now uh but the earthen vessel doing extremely well this is probably one of the most playable trainer cards in the format uh very very important to increase consistency energy find out energy things like that uh very important uh, because of that's only dropped three percent so far the monkey dory ex monkey dory ex started out at 47 dollars 50 so much lower for a special illustration rather than the other ones that we looked at uh it has dropped almost 40 percent it's down 28 dollars 61 cents and continuing to tumble same thing with the peach Runt ex this one started out a little bit lower again at $41.70. Now it's all the way down to $28.43. So uh, sub $30 for a couple of these SIRs already. Uh, this one has dropped almost 32%. Definitely hold out on buying singles. I I'm telling you, wait a few weeks uh, and you might see these go even lower, especially with the illustration rares. Persian is the most expensive of the illustration rares so far, and it doesn't have that bad of a drop for one week. Uh, $38.08 is where it started at. It actually did climb up a little bit. It went over $40 opening week. Weekend, uh, but now it has dropped down to thirty-three dollars and forty-four cents, continuing to tumble a little bit, but still only about a twelve percent drop opening week, which isn't bad at all. The Pheasant Dippity EX Full Art. This is the one that took the biggest hit out of all the Pheasant Dippity uh, EXs. Uh, this one started out thirty-seven dollars and twenty-eight cents. It did drop over fifty percent. You're looking at a fifty-six point six three percent drop, uh, all the way down to sixteen dollars and seventeen cents. And again. It's going to depend on how this card does at Worlds to determine uh, value moving forward. People will buy it if it does really well at Worlds because then they're going to want to have it prepped for regional events in the future. But if it doesn't do well at Worlds, uh, you're going to see these catch up to the other full arts. You're going to see the regular art catch up to their other regular arts and just drop down in price quite a bit. The Pheasant Dippity Illustration Rare, this one took a huge hit, got absolutely hammered. $28.75 is where it started out at. You can see it dropped almost 75%, 74.19%, all the way down to $7 dollars and 42 cents that's a huge drop uh in one week for a set that probably hasn't been opened that much the dusko line this is my favorite line in the in the set beautiful looking artwork i absolutely love this line uh, and because of that it has not dropped that bad uh compared to some of these other ones 27 dollars and 50 cents is where this started out as it did drop about 14.4 percent so it's sitting at 23 dollars and 54 cents still a little bit expensive for an illustration rare but again you're going to see a lot more product open in the near future the monkey dory from uh the illustration rare from shroud of fable 
$26.77. This one is a little bit surprising that it's still as high as it is. It dropped about 32%, 32.39% opening week, so it's down to $18.10. And then the Dusk Nor. So the, the final stage of the Dusk line dropped from $25.67 down to $24.56. So only about a 4% drop on that one. Uh, if we go forward and look at the Janine Secret Art, this one got crushed. $24.81 is where it started out at an opening day. It's dropped down to below $9. This is the most expensive of the full art supporters, down to $8.97. So almost a 64% drop on that one. Power Glass, Hyper Rare, holding on pretty well. Uh, started out at $23.32, dropped dropped down about 18%, down to $19.09, so not too bad of a drop on that one. Again, Hyper Rare is much more difficult to pull. These should go down as well once more and more product gets open, but starting out, some of these Hyper Rares have uh, not too bad of drops on these. $20 for the Peach Runt EX uh, started out relatively inexpensive, so it only dropped about 16.5%, 16.85%, down to $16.63. If we look at the Cresselia Illustration Runner, this one started out just around $20 at $19.95. It did drop over 30%, so it's down to $13.84 right there. Pretty average for what we expect as far as the set release go. Uh, goes the fracture. Uh, this one got hammered really hard as well. $18.44 is where it started out as. It's all the way down to $7.09 one week later. So it dropped about 61.5% over the past week. There's a Rua. Very cool artwork on this one. Uh, dropped a little bit more than what I would have expected. $18.24 is where it started. It's down to $10.76 currently. So about a 41% drop on that one. The Dust Globs, again, the final, the, the middle stage, uh, the stage one of the uh, Dusk 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 Globs, Dusk Norm line. Beautiful artwork. Started out at $17.81. Still dropped. Only about 4%. Uh, sitting at $17.02 currently. Uh, the Tapu Bulu illustration. This one got destroyed. Uh, down almost 74% over the first week. So it started out at $15. Uh, a little bit more cheap than some of these other illustration. But it's a $3.90 card uh, out of nowhere. Like It took a, a week and it just got absolutely destroyed like crazy. Uh, down to $3.90. Uh, very cheap for the Tapu Bulu. The basic metal energy. Uh, uh, secret rare, hyper rare here. Uh, $14.96 is where it started. It dropped about 20%. Again, not terrible for a hyper rare, uh, but again, hyper rare is much more difficult to pull, it seems like, in this set than what they even were in Twilight Masquerade. So it dropped about 20% down to $11.96. The Pheasant Dippity, uh, this one dropped about 18%. Not bad for a regular art. This is just a double rare right here. It started out at $14.38. It's down to $11.75. This one is moving really fast on TCG Player. If you look at the sold listings, this is the one that people want. Again, Worlds is next week. League Cups, League Challenges, things like that. Uh, people are testing out the Pheasant Dippity to see how well it is in competitive play. Uh, then we've got the Okie Dogi illustration where this one dropped about 42%, almost 43% at 42.8%, uh, from $14.37 down to $8.22. The Q Font, very cool looking card, super cute with the rainbow in the background. Uh, started out at $13.42 on release day, dropped almost 41%, uh, a little bit substantial of a drop, down to $7.96. Then we've got the Secret Rare Darkness Energy started out at $13.09. Again, a Hyper Rare that doesn't have too big of a drop because of the difficulty to pull. Dropped down to $12.51, so only about a 4% drop. It is also important worth noting that Hyper Rares don't do as well as what they used to do. They just don't do as well anymore, and because of that, they haven't started out at very expensive market pricing. The the Horsey is the first one that we're going to talk about that did actually go up in price. It's up almost 20%, uh, which is very strong showing over the past week. It started out a little bit lower at $13.02. It seemed like the demand wasn't necessarily there for the horsey, but then uh, kind of started, and because of that, it was a trickle-up trickle effect. Uh, jumped up to $15.61, so relatively significant as far as the increase goes. It's up about 20% over the past week. Uh, not doing too bad. The Okie Doggy EX Full Art this one got hammered. Started out at $12.68 for a full art, which I guess is a little bit more expensive. Cool artwork with the color scheme, uh, but dropped almost 66% down to $4.33 over the past week. Then we have the Peach Runt EX full art. This one also dropped almost 65% over the past week. Started out at $11.85. Now it's down to $4.15. The Houndoom is the second one. This is the one that actually grew the most. This one, uh, much more demand than what it started out at. Somebody bought, people bought this at $11, $12, uh, and we got a 
market price that was established on opening day of $11.33. Uh, it is now over double that price point. So it's up to $25.18 over the past week. Very cool artwork. A lot of people love it. Uh, and because of that, it has increased quite a bit in price, up over 122% over the past week, uh, doing extremely well. The Beware has dropped over 36%. This one started out a little bit lower at $10.82. It has dropped down to $6.89. So about a 36% drop on that one. And then we've got the Zerosic. Uh, this one dropped from $9.75 down to $4.19. Full art supporters just do not have the same impact that they used to. Uh, because of that, the Zerosic has dropped over 57%. Same thing with the Cassiopeia, over 50%. On this one for the drop, almost 52% at 51.66. Started out at $9.66, uh, but now it's down to $4.67 and continuing to tumble. We've got the full art Kingdra EX right here, starting out with a market price of $8.55. This one is down almost 67%, down to $2.86. And then we've got the Chorus's Tenacity. This is the last slides we're looking at right here. $5.80 is where it started. Not too bad of a drop, but it also started out really cheap. Uh, $4.56 is where it is sitting right now. So about a 21.38% drop on that one. The Monkey Dory EX, uh, very close to a bulk EX pricing right now. $5.52 is where it started. Uh, it's lost a, almost half of its value. It's down to $2.96 currently, about a 46% drop on that one. And then the Rev of Room EX, this is the Full Art Terra. People just do not relate well to these Full Art Terra cards. Uh, we say that every set. It just keeps getting worse. Stellar Crown might be a little bit different, but outside of that Greninja EX, uh, not a whole lot of love for the Full Art Terra cards because of that. This one started at $5.41 and now it's already basically below bulk pricing. It's dropped almost 74% down to $1.41. So Shard of Fable, very interesting to see again without that without that Elite Trainer Box, which is where a lot of stores, a lot of people are going to get the majority of the packs that they crack and without the Booster Bundle, which is going to be the best bang for your buck if you're buying product at retail, uh, not as, more packs being opened or just not as much demand? You can let me know in the comments section down below what you think. I think it's kind of a mixture of both. Uh, I think more packs being open because more people are opening up those uh, premium collection boxes and also just the demand isn't really there for this set. I feel like in a few weeks we're going to be looking at this set and it's going to be very very inexpensive for a lot of people. Outside of maybe that Cassiopeia should do okay uh, you might see it drop down to like $70 $60 somewhere around there uh, but very interesting to look at how big these drops were when I wasn't expecting uh, this big of a drop uh, opening week. So you can let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, so you can enter to win the Shroud Fable Master Set. Um, go back and comment and like that, that video that I posted at the beginning of the video. Ultimately, thank you just for taking the time. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, we'll be back on Sunday with another video. Uh, until next time, guys. Peace!